Hey there, Marvel fans. Welcome back to our channel. Today we're donning our green capes and talking about the one and only god of mischief, Loki. I am Loki of Asgard. Will he be back to charm his way through the MCU, or has his time come to an end? Let's find out. Loki's new role. In the dramatic wrap-up of season two, Loki ends up in a peculiar spot. He's given a job that nobody else could do, nor truly understand. The steward of the universe's timelines. Picture it. He's in this vast, empty space where he's now the boss, the protector, the guy holding all the threads of existence together. It's a big deal, and he's doing it solo. It's like he's the janitor and the CEO all at once, tasked with an endless job that no one will thank him for. Is there more Loki to come? In contrast to the first season's clear promise of more mischief, season two's conclusion is shrouded in ambiguity. The studio leaves us in the dark about Loki's continuity. This vacuum of information has led to rampant fan theories and speculations. Could the silence signify the end of Loki's arc, or is it the calm before another storm of trickery and twists? The never-ending story of Loki. Loki's knack for slipping out of the death's clutches is legendary. He's faked his demise, dodged captures, and always had a mischievous plan. But now, things are different. We're not talking about another fake out. We're talking about an eternity of responsibility. This is a new kind of alive for Loki. Alive but forever tied to a throne, overseeing time itself. He's always wanted to rule, but this isn't the rule he imagined. It's lonely, and it's never-ending. But it's selfless, and that's a new look for our Loki. The new god on the block. Remember he who remains in the mess he left behind? Loki and the TVA were left picking up the pieces. The season 2 finale changes the game entirely. Loki, with newfound powers and insight, decides to flip the script. By breaking the temporal loom, he saves the day and assumes a new mantle. He's not just the god of mischief now, he's the keeper of time, the protector of fate. The true meaning of glorious purpose. Loki's been harping on about his glorious purpose since we first met him. I am Loki of Asgard, and I am burdened with glorious purpose. But it's only in season two that we got to peel back the layers of what that phrase really means. It's not about the throne or the crown. It's about making tough calls that affect everyone but you the most. Loki's new job is the epitome of glorious purpose. It's a purpose that's truly glorious because it's bigger than any one person, even a god. The Multiverse Tree In his fresh role, Loki becomes akin to a cosmic tree, one that holds every timeline, the branches in place. This ties back to his guardian lore, where the world tree holds the nine realms. This imagery isn't just a nod to the past, it's a potential foreshadowing of Loki's role in the upcoming Avengers Secret Wars. It suggests that Loki, now at the center of the MCU's multiverse, might have a pivotal part to play in the battles to come. The fate of Ravona Rensselaer. In the meantime, Ravona Rensselaer's fate takes a sharp turn. She's no longer the judge, but the judged, finding herself exiled to the void at the end of time. Her future is up in the air, but one thing's for sure, it doesn't look too bright for her right now. When Ravona awakens, we're greeted with a menacing roar and a burst of purple light. This ominous sign most likely points to Alioth, the all-devouring entity from the void. Its presence spells trouble, and for Ravona, it could mean her time is running out. The TVA's new quest. With everything that's gone down, the TVA has a new mission, to track down the variants of He Who Remains. This could tie into the next Ant-Man movie, hinting at connections and crossovers that could shake the foundation of the MCU. The future of the TVA. The TVA looks set to remain a cornerstone in MCU's expansive plot. As the multiverse saga unfolds, they're likely to be at the forefront, managing the chaos. With Deadpool 3 on the horizon, we might not have to wait long to see them again. Mobius's well-deserved break. Mobius, the tired but determined TVA agent, decides it's time for a sabbatical. He's off to rediscover the life he left behind, but with Deadpool 3 in the wings, we're betting it won't be long before he's back in action. Sylvie's newfound freedom. Sylvie, another variant of Loki, is savoring her freedom. She's got the means to hop timelines at will, and she's off to make the most of it. Her journey is just beginning, and the possibilities are endless. In the end, Loki's fate is as mysterious as the character himself. He could return in the future film or series, or this could be the end of his tale. But one thing's for certain, Loki has left an indelible mark on the MCU, and we can't help but eagerly await his next move. And there you have it, folks. We've journeyed through timelines, battled with Alioth, and sat on the throne of the multiverse, all to answer the question, what's next for Loki? It seems our answers are as mysterious as Loki himself, but one thing is clear, the MCU wouldn't be the same without him. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.